Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing this new to me brand called Flex Gel. I actually did pick this up the last time I went to the iMat show. If you'd like to see more in regards to this brand and what my thoughts are on them, keep on watching. So the first gel by Flex gel that I'll be sharing this one is number 006 please ignore my bottle like it had tilted a time and it leaked and I tried to clean it and it did not come off but yeah <laughs> So this is the first coat of 006. This is a very deep burgundy-ish red and it has some hollow sparkle to it. Honestly guys, it is so, so pretty. I am going to go in with the second coat just because you can see that sheerness at the tip here. But honestly, I really, really like this. I think this is such a pretty color. And this is 006 at the second coat. So I did get more opacity with that second coat. You can still see some sheerness at the tip, but honestly guys, I don't mind it because it's a lot better than how it was with the first coat in my opinion. This color is so, so pretty and is perfect for Christmas and the upcoming Valentine's Day. So I don't know, I'll see. I might wear it because it's time for me to do my nails anyway. But yes, this is two coats. And this is 006 against my skin tone. Such a lovely red. This would have been so pretty, especially for Christmas. So this is the second gel that I have to share from their rainbow gel collection. So this one is 011. And here we have 011 at one coat. As you can see, it is more on the sheer side. It's really, really pretty. Like to me, this is a lilac holographic and the holographic sparkle in it is very intense. You can see how strong it is just with the first coat. Because it's a bit on the sheer side, I would be going in with a second coat. Maybe even a third, I'd have to see. And here's the second coat of 011. There's still some sheerness, guys. I don't know. I'll probably go in with a third coat to see if it helps to build it up, but even at two coats, it's still really pretty. And here's number 11 at that third coat. I don't know. I don't think the third coat really made that much of a difference. Like, yes, there is a difference, but you could leave it at two or go in with the third one. It's really up to you. I really love this color. It's super pretty, and this is another one that would be really nice for spring. And here is number 011 against my skin tone. Very soft and delicate lilac color with some hollow graphic glitters in it. It's so, so pretty. So the last two polishes that I'll be sharing from Flex Gel, this is part of their color changing line. So this one is... CC23 and you get a swatch here on the bottle and it looks like it goes from black to gray or black to clear. And this is CC23 with just one coat. As you can see, like, appears a lot darker than where the tip is. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a cure. But I am going to go in with a second coat because it is a transitioning gel. 
and I think it's going to show up a bit lighter when it cures. So I want to make sure that there's enough um, coats on there to give it a good opacity. And here is CC23 at the second coat. Honestly, with the second coat, the black is a lot more opaque, which I really, really like. And here's CC23 against my skin tone. So as you can see, when it is warm, it is gray, but when it's cold, it is actually black. And the last polish from Flex Gel that I'll be sharing is CC14. So this is the first coat of CC14. I am going to definitely go in with a second coat, but this one starts off as a dark vampy purple and by the look of the swatch on the bottle, it looks like it switches over to like a pinky color. So I hope I can get it to show for you. So here is CC14 when it is warm. So when it is cold, you get that really dark vampy purple color and when it is warm, you get this pinky color i think those two colors would work so good for valentine's day too like a red pink and purple and a white i'm thinking guys i'm thinking i might use those colors for my next set what do you think let me know down below but like how pretty is this pink and look at the tip you can see that it's starting to transition back to the purple like that is so cool even like at the sides here And here is CC14 in the second coat. I am gonna leave it at two coats. I think it looks fine with the two coats. I know there's some sheerness here, but that's okay. But I really love what this color looks like cold because obviously it's purple. And I love what it looks like pink. Like I just think the two look so nice together. And here's what C14 looks like against my skin tone. It's in the middle of transitioning back to the purple. So you can kind of see that pinky color. I think it's so pretty. There's so many things you could do with this. You could have so much fun, especially if you do some stamping over it, some nail art, like the possibilities are endless, guys. And here we have it for the four Flex Gel polishes from my Untried Bin of Polishes. So let me know, guys, what did you think about this brand? Funny enough, this is actually a brand in Canada, and I found them when I went to the last iMatch show. I think it was the last one or the year before but i can't remember which one it was so it was like the international makeup artist trade show and they also had like makeup stuff and makeup brands and different nail stuff so i really like going to things like that and unfortunately we didn't get to have one last year because of covid and i can't remember if there was one the year before but either way yes found them there and I, to be honest this is my first time trying this brand i really really love the polishes they're easy to use i like how strong the hollow is in these two and I love the transitions in these ones usually like personally me I just don't lean towards black polishes or black gels but they are a staple can use them but I like the transition from the black to the gray it's really nice and I loved the purple to the pink so let me know which one is your favorite did you like this um these colors have you heard of this brand before as always guys thank you so much for watching my videos and tuning in with me please do give this video a thumbs up and do make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post more content if you have any questions and or comments leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible until next time stay glamorous